Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition is out now on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. It was developed by People Can Fly. It's published by Gearbox, the Borderlands guys, which is odd because they actually had nothing to do with the original game. I'm Kyle Hilliard. Jeff Cork is here. Hey, buddy. And you're going to give me four bullet points about Bulletstorm. It's true. Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition is a remaster of the 2011 shooter from People Can Fly. And first and foremost, the gunplay is still fun as hell. There's a skill shot system in there in which you are rewarded constantly for doing things that are a little less than ordinary. And it breathes life into what would already be an above average shooter. For lack of a better term, I would call Bulletstorm an ADD shooter. You're rarely doing the same thing repeatedly. so. Even though it is just a shooter, you're constantly mixing up the formula, whether that's the skill shot system, which we talked about earlier, or weird one-off little kind of candy moments, like controlling a giant dinosaur and laying waste to people with a machine gun or stomping on them. The rail shooter section where you're on a train being chased by a giant wheel, or just something a little more mundane, just a giant screen filling boss. So the moment to moment, you're always moving and there are very few slow spots in the game. Almost down. Keep Something I was curious about, I think most people are when you're looking at a remaster is how does this thing look? I was surprised for a game that came out six years ago. It looks great. The textures and the visuals look good. Some of the animations are a little hokey, but by and large, it is pretty great looking. It's also a reminder of some things that you might find a little more archaic now. Things like pressing a button to vault over obstacles, moving hand over hand on a cable, a little more interactive. Those things haven't aged necessarily as well, but otherwise it still feels remarkably fresh. If you pre-ordered the game, you were able to get the special <laughs> version of the game that lets you choose Duke Nukem as a playable hero instead of Grace and Hunt. You can also buy it separately for $5 now that the game is out. Basically what that does is it drops in 3D Realms classic character Duke Nukem into the role of Grace and Hunt throughout the entirety of the story. And it is weird. It's kind of like he's an understudy who had a completely different take on the character, so there are some different lines, they're all recorded by John St. John, you know, voice of Duke Nukem. It's, it's an interesting way to breathe life into the game if you haven't played it since it first came out, which is what I did. I played the bulk of it with Duke Nukem, and even the parts that made me groan a little bit, it was nice to see, like, this is about as good as Duke Nukem's been in a long time. Size doesn't matter, all in how you use it. Cork, interesting trivia that Ben Hansen found out. Yes. The voice acting director for Bulletstorm. Mm -hmm. The same voice acting director for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That is an interesting fact, Kyle. Thank you so much for sharing that with me. So Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition is out now. Mostly the thoughts of our original review reflect your thoughts of the remaster. So if you want an in-depth look at how the game is, you can find that on GameInformer.com. Yeah, if you missed it the first time around, it has aged very well. And I highly recommend it to anyone who's looking for a super fun, kind of stupid, but great shooter.